let us analyze how the capacitor with nonlinear dielectric performs under changing voltage conditions. Using playable mover, we will automatically generate the capacitance versus voltage curve. Without playable mover, it's also possible. You need just calculate several problems. For each problem, you should apply voltage. Then you measure the charge. And then you calculate the capacitance. And again, as many times as you need. But with label mover, it may be automated to just few mouse clicks. Here is my problem. Here is the capacitor. And some voltage applied to the left and to the right side of the capacitor. And the the electric material inside the capacitor has nonlinear properties. You can see that electric permittivity depends on the electric field applied. And the conductivity depends on electric field too. And I would like to measure the capacitance and get this curve. I choose the base problem. This is our base problem and I choose the values to measure. I will measure the electric charge and I will measure the voltage. And I choose the steps. I will change the applied voltage, say by 20 volts. And I will repeat this step 10 times. So I have my capacitor. I ask to change applied voltage and I ask to measure the electric charge and the voltage. Now let's run the simulation. Label mover generates a series of quick field problems. For each problem, it applies the requested change. And then it tells Quickfield to solve these problems. We have 10 problems here. Now Quickfield solves these problems. And also Quickfield measure the charge. And the results are stored in the table here. Similarly, we may use label model for optimization. Say we may ask to vary some parameter. For example, our voltage applied is not stable. and we would like to get the capacitance. So we may ask label mover to change voltage to get the capacitance required. And we can use label mover for tolerance analysis. But now our results are ready. Let's take a look at the picture. Here is the electric charge and here is the voltage applied. You can see it's a nonlinear curve 
because we have a nonlinear material. If it were linear, we would have a linear curve. And of course, we can copy all the data, say, in Microsoft Excel or in text file. And then use them there. This is our label more. 